It's been such a privilege to be present here at Ben Gurion Airport for the arrival of the 59th Nefesh Benefesh flight in the last 14 years. Over 56,000 people making Aliyah. And today, 239 people made Aliyah this morning from North America. And an honor really to be here. And one thing that stood out incredibly during the speeches was the two government ministers who spoke. The Minister of uh, uh, Absorption, Sofsufa Landwer, and Deputy Minister in the Prime Minister's Office, Dr. Michael Oren. What was amazing is that both of these ministers, Minister and Deputy Minister, who spoke to welcome on behalf of the Israeli government, all of these uh, Olim, neither of them had an Israeli accent. Sofa Landwer has a strong Russian accent making Aliyah Interestingly, 1979, almost 40 years ago, and Dr. Michael Oren has a strong American accent, and he too made Aliyah in 1979, 40 years ago. And indeed, the new Israeli accent today is a French accent, a Russian accent, an American accent. And that brings me to the main point that I want to make, is being present in these Aliyah trips, one gets a real sense of how Medinat Israel, in 70th year now, is genuinely moving Jewish history forward, around 25,000 Olim. Uh, on an annual basis. And in this week's parasha, so much of the parasha is about building a country. All of the national trappings, the polity, are, are all discussed in this week's parasha. Shoftim v'shotrim, that there should be a legislative, a judicial system and a police force to enforce it. Then it says, som tasim there should be a political system, a, a political leader. And then it talks afterwards also about ki tzela milchama, it talks about the army, it talks about prophets and, and, and kohanim all the different national uh, elements of uh, what it means to run a country, all unfolding today uh, before our eyes. And I want to end and say that in the Haftarah this uh, week of, uh, from Izan in Yeshayahu chapter 50, 51, like all of the seven leading up from Tisha Abiyav up, up, up until Rosh Hashanah are all about prophecies of comfort, Shivad and Achamta. And there are so many verses of comfort. And I want to end with two of them. The one which is the base of Lachadodi, all about the return. It says, Uri Uri Livshi Uzeich Zion, Livshi Bidei Tevitel Yerushalayim. Zion and Jerusalem, put on your clothes, awaken, adorn yourself with clothes, Levush and Begadim. And the Rishonim asked the Radak and others, what are these clothes that Yerushalayim and Zion is supposed to adorn itself with? And the answer is, the Jewish people. When the Jewish people return to Zion and Yerushalayim, they clothe, so to speak. The land is being naked, bereft of her children. And when they return, there is a reclothing and adornment of the land with the people, which come together, forming the complete person. And I want to end and say with a very, very powerful pasuk, which we saw uh, which today and every day in Israel today is a fulfillment. It says, Kol Tzofaich Nasu Kol, the verse of the Tzofim, the Nevi'im Nasu Kol, everyone could hear it. Yachdav Yeraneinu, all of the prophets will rejoice. And what will be their rejoicement? Ki ayin ba'ayin yiru, they will see eye to eye, every eye will see. B'shuv Hashem Etzion, with Hashem returning to Etzion. And that's what we've seen today with another 239 and every day in Israel. And really the state of Israel today, the fulfillment of these prophecies, and the parish of Shoftim and Matt continue to be this no longer a melting pot. It's, it's, it's a country where one doesn't have to weld into one pot. It's a country which allows Russian accent, American accent, accent, French accents to be leaders of this country, to be a country which everyone has a place in, in order to be part of the rich mosaic and tapestry of Jewish history, in order to be able to move, move it forward in our generation. Shabbat Shalom.